YouTube. I'm uh, here responding to a question I got from a viewer about how to adjust uh, the split nut on the mini lathe. Now he specifically asked about the LMS and this is not an LMS, uh, but they're all very, very similar. So I'm going to show you what I know about adjusting the half nut. So um, when this, this lever, it engages and disengages the half nut. So this will freely slide. As you move this lever down, the half nut engages and it clamps down on this screw here, this lead screw. It's got an, kind of like an acne thread, which is a squ square, th um, square thread. And then when you engage it, what it will do is drive the carriage to the left or the right, depending on what direction you have it in. There, there's a, a reversing lever over here, so you can either drive it left or right. So as far as the adjustments, I'm going to show you what I know about adjusting it. So the only few adjustments that I know uh, there's this, this is an Allen head screw that goes in here, and there's a spring with a ball, and then there's two detent points, disengaged, which holds it, holds it open, and engaged, which holds it closed. Now when you do close it, if you're not exactly on the thread, it won't close, but if you give it just a little, little bit of movement, then it will close on the nut, now it's engaged. So the tightness of that screw, that's one setting. Um, here, these three screws, there is a there is a trapezoidal, uh, trapezoid? I don't know. There's a piece of key stock that looks like this. It's like an angle. And, and it sits behind these screws. And as you tighten this up, um, it will tighten the screws. You can typically leave this, you know, just snug tight. And you can adjust these after the fact. Uh, but just so there's not a lot, a whole lot of play in there. Um, and then uh, the last adjustment, which, I, which is the one I think is that he's questioning about, is, is that uh, how, how do you make sure the half nuts uh, close completely on um, the thread and no more pressure on the bottom or the top. And so the way that you do that is um, you'll take this cover off, and I'm not going to do it. I'm just trying to give you an overview. Uh, you, you'll take your tailstock off. You'll loosen uh, these two um, Allen uh, screws, and you'll notice that these have uh, like an oblong hole because this can be adjusted up and down. So what you'll do is you'll bring your carriage all the way down as close as you can, and then you'll close your half nut. And at that point, it will hold um, the screw, the drive screw, in the right place, and you can tighten them up there. And then the same thing happens over on the left side here. You can't hardly see it because it's high behind the control panel. Anyway, I was just wanted to answer the viewer's question. That's how I adjusted it. There may be another way. This just happens to be how I did it. Anyway, thank you very much for the question, and uh, can't wait to see some of the projects you've done with your lathe, and have a nice evening.